Congressman, I want to read you something um, from Senator Chris Coons. He's a Democrat from Delaware. I'm not sure if you know him or not, but nonetheless, he's a Democrat. And here's what he had to say about the situation. As Putin takes increasingly aggressive steps by deploying troops and armored carriers and overflights of jets in Crimea in, Ukraine, in Ukrainian territory, the U.S. needs to be thoughtful, less rhetoric, more action. I frankly think this is partly a result of our perceived weakness because of our actions in Syria. This is something, uh, that last part particularly, that critics have uh, suggested uh, across the board, certainly a lot of Republicans, but as I mentioned, uh, Senator Kuntz is a Democrat, saying that Putin sensed weakness in the president. Your reaction? Oh, I think uh, Putin's seen exactly the opposite. What Putin has seen is the president mobilizing the international community, both in support of Ukraine uh, and to isolate Russia for its actions in Ukraine. And Russia is paying a clear cost. Uh, for that. That's what Putin's seeing. Putin is not uh, acting out of a position of strength. He's acting out of a position of weakness. Understand what's happened here. Uh, this has gone on for several months now. A country that had a government that uh, the Russians supported and that was uh, taking aggressive action against its own people uh, has left. Uh, a government that is more oriented toward the West has come in, and that's what Putin was afraid of. Uh, and as a result, uh, what we've seen now is the international community mobilized against the actions he's taken as a result of uh, the president's leadership. Uh, and, and so I think uh, what you're seeing is uh, the United States leading in this effort uh, and the president uh, doing, uh, doing the leading. Um, the notion that this is somehow uh, a result of Syria makes uh, very little sense uh, to me. This is about Ukraine. This is about uh, what well, the about, Russians they, saw the happening in Ukraine. The suggestion is that the president looked weak in Syria. He's looked weak in other places, and Putin took advantage of that. Well, you know, history really doesn't bear that out. Uh, the Russians went into Georgia and took over uh, territories there. Uh, under the Bush administration, uh, when there were hundreds of thousands of American troops deployed in Iraq uh, and Afghanistan. Uh, and, uh, of course, uh, that didn't stop the Russians from going in. That's because this is not about uh, what we do or we say in the first instance. It's about Russia and its perceived interests. And we have made very clear uh, now that there's a, a choice that Russia has to make and a cost it will pay if it continues down this path. Um, I think uh, the impact, uh, again, of what we've already done uh, in terms of the pressure on Russia has been significant. Uh, it will grow stronger. But it's also the responsible thing to do uh, to figure out if we can resolve this uh, in a diplomatic way. And that's why we've offered a path forward that would take into account Russia's concerns. We've, said, we've long said that we respect and understand its ties to Ukraine. Gotcha. Uh, but it cannot change the status quo uh, through the use of force. Tony Blinken, Deputy National Security Advisor to the President. Thank you so much. Thanks very much for having me, Kenny.